Hello there, Romans here and welcome to my next music review. Today is going to be FM Atomic Generation. Music Review Music Review FM is a British AOR slash melodic rock group, kind of similar to groups like Strange Ways or Starship, maybe early Eric Martin stuff, Mark Free. The first two records from FM are pretty much considered to be cult classics among AOR and melodic rock fans. I myself have listened to these records something like eight or nine years ago, which is quite a long time ago, and I really like those records. And honestly, I didn't even know that FM were still together, and just a couple of weeks ago I discovered that they were about to release a new record. They had a video out. So I decided to check the new record out to see where they were as a group 20 years later. The new record is coming out on the 30th of March and as of now I've heard it five times already. The album opens up with the song Black Magic which you must have heard already if you're watching this review because they have released a promotional video for it and this is a very reminiscent of their song Don't Stop or maybe of some Danger Danger or Aerosmith music and it's a very arena rock song, it's got a very fat production. It's not really anything you haven't heard before but it's a pretty energetic song with big chords. The second track, Too Much of a Good Thing, is a kind of a 80s GTA Vice City nostalgia song. It's a very nice AOR song with really big vocals. The third track, Killed by Love, is exactly a pop rock song that an 80s rock group would do. This is a song that kind of reminds me of the Danger Dangers Revolve record from 2009 and even though it's kind of a heard it before kind of song, it's a pretty nice song. In It For The Money is probably the heaviest track on the record with the guitars that have dropped tuning. It's got sort of a bluesy chorus but in terms of songwriting is a pretty average song. It's something like a balance between hard rock and modern rock and I really like the production on the whole record, it's just so fat, really. Golden Days is probably the most reminiscent of their early days. It's a very 80s AOR song. I really like it. It's a very nice song, probably the best on the, on the record for me. Playing Tricks on Me is a track that if you listen to this record as a sort of a background, when this song comes up you might be wondering that, am I still listening to the same record? It's a song that has some horns and even with the guitar it reminds me a lot of the song Smooth from Santana uh, and I would say that this song is way too similar therefore it's not really that interesting but in terms of style it really stands out on a record. Then you have a couple of songs like for example Make the Best of What You've Got which is a very party rock song that kind of reminded me of the early Van Halen at the beginning then Follow Your Heart which is a song that has very early Bon Jovi feeling especially with those 80s keyboards or the song Do You Love Me Enough which is again slightly more pop rock all of these three songs are not bad but not really great and this is kind of how I feel with most of the songs that they don't really bring anything new to the table. The song Stronger has a very strong deep purple beginning and then the problem with this song is that it kind of can't decide whether to be a hard rock tune or a pop rock tune because you've got like parts of both but somehow it just doesn't really work for me. The last track Love is the Law is an acoustic based ballad with a little bit of country influence and with some pop elements that reminded me of Backstreet Boys for example but I really like the soulful vocals and it's a very nice song, it's one of my favorites on the record. So I like the production, I really like the Steve Overland's voice. Now if you compare it to the early records you can hear that his voice is a little deeper or maybe um, more grown up but he still maintains the same quality and the very interesting thing about Steve is that he's one of those singers that you can immediately recognize. He's got one of the most recognizable voices in music I've ever heard and if you heard him once you'll be always able to recognize him. Songwriting is so-so, I mean a couple of the songs are okay, a couple of are less so. The problem is that most of the stuff on this record make Atomic Generation just another rock record among hundreds and hundreds of rock records. There isn't really anything new they would bring to the table, there isn't really anything that would make me interested. Now if you are like me and you listen to various music styles or various groups, this will probably not interest you very much. If you listen to only a handful of groups and especially in this run you may find this record appealing. For me it's 6 points out of 10, but as I said before I don't really like criticizing records or I don't really like 
giving bad reviews. Main focus of this channel is to recommend music. So if you have never heard about FM as a group, definitely check their first two albums out, which are fantastic and I can't wait to rediscover them again. And uh, if you are a fan of FM, you can tell me how well does the new album compare to its previous stuff or if there is anything beyond the second album worth listening to. Atomic Generation in Slovak means Atomová generácia. I hope you liked this review. If you did, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. Links to both are in the comment section below. If you agreed with me or if you didn't, if you have listened to the record or you haven't, I you can... I don't agree with you every time you say something. Women. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe as my first official video is coming out in something like two weeks and also my debut album which is going to be pretty unique. Rock music without guitars, instead there's drum, bass, saxophone and keyboards. So subscribe to hear more about that. And thanks a lot for watching and if there are any bloopers at the end, well there won't be any bloopers. The first two records from FM are considered to be pretty much a cult classics, cult called this is because I'm stupid fucking bitch I couldn't have said it better <laughs>